All right. Good morning, Lee Halan. I hope you're all doing most righteously today. Welcome to our second live stream for Emperor of the Fading Suns Patch 1.5. Very excited about this. As we've noted, we don't think there's any game that's been out um, longer than this to get a patch. So, uh, yeah, I really appreciate the team's work on this. And we'll be looking at a bunch of things and answering some questions we got before. So, let's continue where we left off. Whoops. I thought that's where the save game was. We might be having to start a whole new game. I might have erased that save. G1 save. Yep, very curious. All right. I might have erased my saves accidentally because I wrote over the old one. All right, let's start a new one. Let's go ahead and use the historical. Let's go Hazat this time. Yes, the Hazat. All the other houses are House Leilan, House Dakotas, House Hawkwood, House Al Malik, but they are THE Hazat! And don't you forget it, not that there's any insecurity about the House Chalky that they depose for their position. Alright. So, let's go for the Hazat. And, uh, we will turn off the show tutorials. I'll knock up my difficulty level. Go ahead and say average, so I can show you some different factors that we're doing. Leave all the things on, like Plague, Rebellion, Showing the combat reports. Universal Warehouse on. Yeah, I had some fun conversations with people in the test group about the fact that... Uh, uh, oh, I didn't promote this in the test group. I need to tell them that this live stream is happening. Give me one second to let all of them know that they can join this as well. Sorry about the short delay as I jump onto Discord. Yes, there is a group for EFS modders. You can't hear me, can you? EFS modders, playtesters, etc. Thanks to all the playtesters who've been involved. Let's make sure that they all know about this. Let them all join us here on YouTube land. I am live streaming the 1.5 patch right now at YouTube, Twitter, Twitch. Not Twitter. I'm not YouTube live streaming Twitter. All right, here we go. So anyway, had a great conversation in the um, test group about the difference in play when Universal Warehouse is on versus off. This means that you have resources you can build with and you can pull from your universal supply on any planet you're on. It gets a lot more interesting when you have to pull only from the planet that you're on. So we invade a planet, you need to bring a lot of food to feed your troops or else they're starving while they're attacking until you get some food under your, under your control. So uh, one interesting strategy folks have used is when they land on a planet, then they immediately land next to the Agora and buy a bunch of food. So one way if folks use that strategy to help prevent it is you keep buying up all the food from the Agora. And that way it's harder to invade you when you have Universal Warehouse off. Yeah, Universal Warehouse off makes the game a lot more interesting. And yes, consume food is on so we can have famine. We love some famine, don't we? I will be looking to my left quite a bit in order to uh, watch chat. Feel free to ask questions about Fading Suns, the development process, game dev, etc. I will be turning to my left every now and again to see how uh, those qu queries are going. All right. So, we are the average difficulty, so we're jumping into it. We'll be House Lee Halan. Let's go for Prince Lazarus. Love the earrings. All right, we'll be Prince Lazarus today. Uh, at average, we have two. We have Battle Master. This is risky. It's great because Nobles really can make a stack a lot more powerful, but you better protect them. Because if they die, there go your uh, your votes. You only have five of them. And when they're all gone, you have lost the game. And Warrior Ethic. Units receive expert experience rating fresh out of boot camp. I think that's actually... I think we have... Regular, Veteran, and then Elite, but... I'll have to reread the manual. I've been working on the manual, but working on the um, tutorial. Next time we do this live stream, I might live stream the tutorial for people. I think that'd be a great idea. All right, so let's go fourth. And let's go Psycho. This is how you get dervishes. I love giving the Hazat dervishes. That was one of their cool fighting forces in the Emperor Wars as we define it in Fading Sun. So I try and get straight to dervishes with the Hazat as quickly as possible. But yes, Psychosocial. 
New Patriarch is Orthodox. All right, so here we've got our fleet in orbit above Aragon. Uh, we are going to go ahead and ensure that all House Hazat members will follow Prince Lazarus. So, uh, yeah, so in the midst of time, we've lost detailed information about everything but the clear area. Hey, but we see some ruins to go after. We'll go after them pretty quickly, too. Neat things can be found in the ruins. So we're going to do the Hazat, the Hazat rush. The Hazat love to go right at claiming their world as fast as possible. One of the strategies is start moving off world as quickly as possible. Start bringing in resources from multiple planets. I think the Hazat just like to make sure everyone follows their lead on their planet and then move out. So two good strategies, both great ways to play the games. Either consolidate your power in your home world or start spreading out your control as quickly as possible. Both are a lot of fun. All right. So anyway, uh, so yeah, we've got a couple things up here. We don't know what they are right now, what they're developing. Other stuff down here and here. And of course, more over here and way up here. And yeah, there are these resource cities all over the place. We're going to start here because it's connected by a road. We can probably grab them quickly. So let's go up into space. We have got a small, small little armada. Little Hazat armada. And we are going to bring these units down to do some good. So let's, these are assault landers. They can land outside of cities, but I'm going to land in a city to go ahead and pick up some units to go ahead and land outside the city. Let's land in the Arborium. Arborium. We're going to go ahead and grab an anti-tank gun unit and an artillery unit. And we will take them back into space. Bazoomba. And then land again. Right next to this little city. Oh, it's a mine. Good. We need some metals. Would you like to unload all of your transport group's cargo? That is one of the things that we uh, added for the patch. Very helpful little thing. All right. So now we can scout. What do we see in the mine? Not much. Uh, we might do a quick orbital bombardment here just to weaken that anti-tank gun. Um, should we bring down the other one? Oh, I know. I want a noble in here to start getting experience. Let's look at our nobles. We have nobles in the palace on the steps of the palace as it were so here i can right click on the palace and you see new information you see what uh religion the um city is orthodox the health of the city how fast it heals how fast units in it heal the city's loyalty which is um was pretty high early but it's going to go down and the defense that that city offers so my nobles are all got some are veterans to some degree so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here. I'm going to pick up a noble and an infantry unit to protect it. And I'm going to land up there and hope that I can join in the attack. So let's do that and try and start getting them experience. The more experience they get, the more likely they are to survive, which is that little catch-22. They're kind of paper tanks right now. All right, so let's go back up into space. Let us grab the assault lander. Shoot it down to the planet. Right into the steps of the palace. Let's get ourselves a noble. Maybe it's even Lazarus himself in an infantry unit. Maybe Lazarus is leading this attack. That's the kind of guy he is. He might very well be doing this. Shoot up into space. Land it down here. Land it up here. Unload, and now I've got this nice sized unit, but I'm not gonna just attack that mine just yet. I've got a cruiser out here which can bombard from space. Gonna fire the beam weapons down at that mine and see if I can do some damage to the anti-tank gun. The infantry unit is just going to shelters and hide out. Wow, that did nothing. Try that again, cruiser. That did much better. All right, now I feel happier. All right, so combat is done. Let's go ahead and we've got all of these troops. We're gonna go march them into the mine, kill the militia who are there. Let's go ahead and attack normally. We don't want to risk the noble by doing anything fancy. So we're just gonna walk on in. So we've got, you see, we've got the Noble Retreat bonus, which means units are less likely to retreat. The Battle Master bonus, because he is a Battle Master. Noble Accuracy bonus gives the units greater accuracy and agility. So, combat is done, and we have taken the mine. The mine is mine, as we like to say here in Hazat land. All right, so combat is now done. I can actually start building things here. Okay, now I click on here and you can see some of that information again. So the mine harvests five metal and 30 trace elements. And if I increase the loyalty of the folks, they'll make more and do seven metal and 41 trace. 
So not a big metal producer, but great for those trace minerals that we need. I'm gonna have to be building some more mines if I can't conquer some more. And you see all that city information. All right, we do want to build something. I'm actually gonna build an engineer because I want to start building more cities up here. So build that engineer. Engineers are always good to build. All right, now I can move these units some more. They can't reach that city, but I'm gonna show you something else we can do out here in space. Wait, I need to go take a look here. So I think my fort is where all my cool units are. Oh yeah, look at all those tanks. Mm, the Hazard armor, ready to move. All right, so let's go up into space. Let's bring down my salt lander. Not salt lander, who bulk caller. That's my big bulk caller. These you don't want to land outside of a city, they can wreck. So we're gonna land it in our fort. Where we've got the, um, we have tractor, tracker be, tractor beams essentially to pull it on in, make like it help it land safely. We're gonna load it up with some tanks. Put a wolfen unit in it. Uh, put a wolverine unit in it. Put a smiter in it. Put another smiter in it. Love those smiters. That's as many as it can carry. Four units. So it shoots up, and it will land in my mine. Kabam! We'll unload all those units, and we're going to walk down here and see what's in this city. So let's go scout it out. Dee -dee 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 -dee. And now we've already spotted. Ah, there's an officer and a militia. Let's get a little closer and see if we learn any more. What's in there now? Oh, yeah. Got some artillery. Anti-tank gun, that can be kind of dangerous. So let's use another of our orbital bombardments. All right, cruiser action attack. So hit the farm, a bang, and do almost nothing. Oh boy, and now we discover this infantry unit. This is a pretty heavily defended farm. So we might not go after it immediately. Let me think about that. We have other stuff to do on the planet. We also have some frigates here. It's always a good idea to explore with the frigates. I'll do a little bit of that right now. Let's send a frigate to Leheim. They're also good to have around your cruiser if somebody attacks and soak up some of that damage. Let's send someone to Veracruz. Veracruz in the Fading Suns book is uh, one of the worlds that the Hazat exert their control over during the, the Emperor Wars. All right, this is our Byzantium Secundus Fourth. Fourth. Yes, this should sally forth. You're right. Um, oh, and Veracruz is how we get to Kurga, by the way, when we go after those infidels! Which isn't going to be in uh, this patch, but boy, if you all are doing some mods, that'd be a cool mod to do the Kurgan Caliphate. All right, here we go. Yes, this uh, patch is very much about creating more mods for the game. All right, so first thing we're going to do, I love me some Power Legions. So we're going to load up some Power Legions in my freighter, and I'm going to haul some of these Power Legions over to over to Aragon to help with my uh, conquest of the planet. I love to put um, power legions next to the nobles so they can help soak up some of the damage if uh, the infantry units are getting slaughterized. But in this case, I'm going to send some power legions out and uh, explore this planet. The more we know about it, the better off we are. This is Byzantium Secundus. This is the crown world for the Regency and eventually the Emperor. And knowing stuff about it is pretty handy. Yeah, I know. I've emptied out all of my uh, power legions from my fort. But right now, nobody can fight on Byzantium Secundus. You can't fight here until someone declares for Emperor. Except those little assassins might be able to do some nasty things here. Something we've been playing with in the patch to improve that. Oh, yeah. Let's look at the fort capabilities. So yeah, better defense, obviously, than the mine. Healing and like are about the same, but much more defensible when you're in a fort. All right, and these green numbers get modified. When you see green, that means they've been modified by the religious sect of which I'm a member. So by being orthodox, I have a little better armor and better defense against psychic attack. Psychic effect attacks have choked me up. All right, let's go ahead and sentry Everyone else, this is, it says fort, this is really our embassy here on Byzantium Secundus. All right, so got them to protect it. Should I bring my noble down for that attack? No, I don't want to risk him against those. That's, uh, we didn't get nearly enough done there. I'm actually going to come back to these units because I want to put some troops onto my boats and go over here. Going yet here. All right, what else have we got in the palace? We might want to take that one. 
we got lots of stuff in the palace to take. I'm going to take another noble. Two of those infantry. Yeah, I'm taking most, most of my troops out of the palace. I don't expect to be attacked in the palace right now. So, uh, let's take all of these troops into the transports. I still got room for, what, one more unit? Yeah, I can put one more unit in there. I think I got another tank. Yeah, let's put another tank in there. Move the tank gun in. Or should I put another artillery in? What do you think? Yeah, we'll put a tank gun in. Let's get one of my tanks on into there. boop a doop a doop Alright, so that's as many as can be on board of that transport. We're going to move over here. Whoops. You guys can't move over there. The, these guys can. So let's sail the seven seas or the one sea of uh, Aragon. Well, I know. Even on Holy Terra, really, there's just one ocean that's all connected. But we like to think of the seven seas because it's cool. Alright. So... Let's go ahead and unload all of our forces here. We have spotted this farm. Ooh, it's got some serious infantry. This could be dangerous for my noble. You'd really like to just put up the noble in the tank, but really what the noble unit is, that's the noble and the elite bodyguard. In this case, I like to think um, that the Hazat have got their early dervishes here, but I haven't really researched enough dervishes to have a whole unit of them. So anyway... Whole bunch of elite nobles all showing off. They're not going to hide in armor. They're going to lead from the front. So let's see if I die. All right. Into the farm. Again, doing it normal. Faint could be interesting. Ah. Hey, EBM. How are you doing today? The seven seas has a nicer ring to it than the single seas. The solitary seas. That little lonely old sea. I think you're right. All right. Oh, no. Oh, no. Woohoo. Our infantry soaked up the damage it would have gone to our noble. So, excellent. Combat is done. We bought the farm. No, we didn't buy it. We took it. Let's go ahead and build a militia in here. All right. There is another rebel city here, but it's going to take us forever to walk across. Um, maybe I should put this infantry in here instead of building a militia. Go ahead and build another... Uh, engineer in order to start mining down here. That's not a bad idea. I do need more mines. Azat have a uh, dearth of metal until they're going into all these mountain regions, which takes a little bit of time. Look over here as well. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Should I leave my pretty little infantry unit here? Because it's been damaged. It needs to do some healing. Uh... Do a militia, do another engineer over here instead of that militia. Uh, hey, Morris, do the graphics use a custom bitmap font, a bay grid, or a font built into the game engine? Uh, yeah, we got a bitmap font. You're right. Good eyes. What do you recommend we do? You're not caring for the uh, the font, or should we do something different? More farms to feed the hot war machine. Exactly, EBM. My, my soldiers do have um, some ravenous hunger. Let's see. Yeah, I might go ahead and cancel out that uh, militia and build an engineer here instead. Yep. I don't actually lose any resources. It gets shifted over to the engineer. If I'd gone multiple turns, I'd lose some of the resources that got invested in it. All right, so we're going to move this infantry unit into the farm. Go ahead and sentry it to defend the farm while he heals up. Move all these folks back into the transports. Everyone back on board ship! And we're going to head back over here so we can join the attack on those ruins that look so tasty up there. Alright, so y'all are done. Alright, so... We are going to start moving troops to go up after those ruins. So let's start moving on out. We're going to leave militia in. Militia give a city extra spotting as well as the defense. So I tend to try to leave at least a militia in every city if not more units hey morris it looks fine just curious if you had to make all the numbers and letters by hand back in the day that's how we did this is a 1995 game yep all this stuff had someone had to draw everything you're exactly right crazy days of your yesteryear Unit spotted. Unit spotted. oh yeah we're checking out the imperial eye fort so the imperial eye doesn't do much until a player has been offered this as part of the Regency. So if you look at the Byzantium Sunday screen, 
you've got these various roles. Somebody gets to be regent, and then they can point a house to stigmata, imperial eye, and imperial fleet. Actually, they have to. So, uh, you can appoint yourself to one of these. Stigmata's got the best troops by far. Imperial Eye gives you an eye on every planet and every noble homeworld. And then uh, the Imperial Fleet gives you some spaceships and a small amount of ground force as well. So, we'll see what we want to be as we move forward. But anyway, the Imperial Eye really does nothing at this stage in the game, but it'd be nasty if your enemies get control of it on your planet. All right. Centuring the fort. Yeah, I don't like leaving the palace this undefended, but we'll get folks back into it. Lazarus is off, leading the war machine. All right, here's my existing engineer. We want to build a road up to here. Maybe up to there, so we can get troops coming from that way more, more rapidly. More rapidamente! So let's extend out the road. Lots of troops in the fort. These are my planet to space weapons. Lovely things to have. Bring all these troops out to the assault on the ruins and century all of these. Got a little extra food and metal in there. Handy to have. Actually, let's go ahead and uh, century this unit too. Just leave him there. All right. Move this unit separate from the rest since he goes a little, it goes a little faster. Could very well be a she. Move that up ahead in case there's anything nasty. The eye is always watching. Hey, it's Sam and Abinet. When you look at the Imperial Eye, the Imperial Eye looks at you as the bloodshot eyes or that one crazed glimpse. And don't say it's a robot eye. The Imperial Eye is not controlled by think machines. Maybe. All right, so move the tank. Move all of these troops on up. Sentry this one. Get more troops out of the uh, Borium Arborium. Get them moving along. Sentry this one. These troops moving along. Sentry this one. Get these troops moving along. Sentry this one. All right, now I gotta decide what I'm gonna do here. I could move them down to help out on the farm, help take the farm. Actually, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do something. Yeah, I might move these all these units next turn to go take another city. Like, whatever it is, it's up here. I think that's what I'm going to do. Alright, it'd be nice to have the noble lead this uh, these folks into battle, but... Oh, decisions, decisions. All right, I tell you what, next turn we're going to bombard the um, farm. And if it doesn't do much damage, we'll bring those troops down to help via space. Otherwise, we'll take them off to whatever is up here. All right, so y'all are just going to set there. Y'all are not going to attack this turn. I don't want to lose any of my pretty armor. You can do it next turn. If we had a better orbital bombardment, maybe we would have attacked this turn. No, we don't want to end our turn yet. We got cool things to do. So this is the house. Um, we could probably use a little more money. Let's raise the tax a little bit. You're going to hear my people complain. We're going to lower some loyalty. That we can reduce production as well as spark rebellions. But I want a little more money for what I'm about to do next, which is go to the Agora and buy some metal so I can build more engineers. Purchase. Move all this yummy metal into the shield dup, 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 with all that other stuff I have and protect it. Now, where do I want to build another engineer? Uh, this is Windows. This game does not play on Mac. Sorry to tell you, Morris. Uh, unless you've got a uh, PC emulator on it. I can see what I did there. Oh, you all are out of control. I got to keep my eyes on you all. Yeah, would you like a Mac version of this game, Morris? All right, I was looking for another place to build an engineer. I'm building one up here in the north, one here on my new island. I'd like to get another engineer growing here. Let's build one in the mine. This is the area where I want to go ahead and be harvesting metals, as it were. So let's build another engineer. They take four turns, you see, so if I cancel production, I lose some of the resources that went into them. 
And maybe I'll do another one down here. Let's build an engineer here. All right. That's pretty good. Let's do a little bit of diplomacy, because the Hazat put the dip in diplomacy. All right, so now we see who's in the other house. Chikau, Prince Chikau, Prince Salandra de Cados, Prince Alexius. Oh, in the official Fading Suns universe, that's when he becomes Emperor. And Prince Hakim Al-Malik. Prince Alexius Hawkwood, Prince Salandra. Yeah, I know, we use Prince uh, for whatever gender. It's kind of like the term actor, just like we use actor for men and women who act. We use the term Prince in Fading Suns for the ruler of the leader of a house. Though Duke and Duchess are then the lower levels. Chikawa. All right, let's see here. First, let's see if we can get the Leon to give us some technology. We saw they've got some good technology right now. So would you give me some technology? I would like some physics. I don't know anything about physics. And I'll give you a planet map of Byzantium Secundus. I like trading planet maps. Sometimes it works, usually it doesn't. Message sent. So, Salandra, why don't you give me an alliance with you and I'll give you a planet map. Alright. Now it's interesting, the way diplomacy works in the patched version is it's more your strength that determines if people will agree to your bargains. Uh, the stronger you are, the more likely they are to want to appease you. Alexius, give me... let's... let's... let's uh, say you'll give me a ministry if you're elected. Let's go for the Imperial Fleet. And I'll give you my votes at the next election. I'll give you an alliance. And I'll give you that little planet map of Byzantium Secundus. Message sent. And what do we want from Prince Hakim? Give me an alliance with you, and I'll give you a planet map. So let's see if any of these work. Maybe not, but at least we'll give it a try. And with the vow. So I've been exploring Byzantium Secundus. They don't want my tech. They do want... Map information will give me the Firebirds they've gotten from some weird source. The are very um, hard to understand. More Taylor always get frustrated with Mac keyboard shortcuts and go back to Windows. I can appreciate that. I was having an interesting discussion with another game dev about some of the issues he's been having trying to dev for uh, Mac just because of how easy it is to kind of do cheats and Mac on the Mac for games. So, interesting conversation. All right, so yes, I'm going to sell out my... What's supposed to happen, we haven't fixed this for 1.5, is that the more maps the Vow get, the more their influence spreads throughout the known worlds, and this can be problematic for you, especially if you'd like give them your home world information. But uh, we haven't fixed that for 1.5, a little broken 1.4. So right now, not too, bi too big a deal to give them maps. So it feels like I'm selling out humanity. So yeah, yeah I'll take 335 Firebirds. I need the money. All right. So, now I'm pretty happy with my turn. So let's go ahead and end turn and see if anyone takes my diplomacy. Zip! And uh, so I sent someone to the League Heim and they're seeing the entire Merchant League fleet going out. Look at that. And some of them are going to Aragon. So maybe that uh, metal's getting restocked already. All right, psychosocial engineering has been completed. Now we're gonna go after meditation. Here. I'm going to show you something fun. Let's look what the church has to say about meditation. Meditation. From the ancient times, we of Earth have utilized a number of techniques for communing with the Empyrean through the purgation of the self. From the holy man who wanders alone in the desert to the abbess who silently prays beneath the cruciform circle, such psychic keys enable humans to cast off their worldly vestments and bask in the spiritual radiance of the Pancreator. Take care, though, for meditation in all its forms is the doorway to the soul and the improper practitioner may open him or herself to the light of the shadow or the shadow. We can research this technology. All right, so we're going to close this and we're going to research meditation because it leads to Prana Brindu and Blade Master, which I love for House Hazat. All right, and you can also always check the database to see what you, own, what, what you have gotten control of so far. Oop. You can strike technology if the church has disliked it, but let's not strike anything. We need these. All right, so we are researching meditation. All right, so Landra doesn't want my alliance. Uh, Alexius isn't going to make me fleet commander. 
No alliance with Hakim. No physics technology from Chico. We expected that. All right. Say la vie. All right. These folks have landed, so they're going to be my uh, troops to soak up damage around my nobles in combat. But let's figure out where my nobles are going to be in combat. Let's start with some shootings. So I said I wanted to bombard this farm to make it easy for my armor to come in and take it. Oh my goodness. Cruiser, you're going to be fired. All right, took that out. Let's see if we can do anything to that, um, that artillery sitting there. Yes! All right, now my armor can just waltz on in. All right, should we move uh, out of Liegheim? It's fun to see what the Liegheim fleet does, but I really need to go ahead and explore the Univas. So let's head to Midian and see what we can discover there. Because right now, you'll notice that we don't have... We lost our map from this planet long ago! I'm going to send a ship there and buy the information from another party. But now that my ship's at Veracruz, look, we can see all this. We can't uncover the fog of war, but we can see cities and roads and terrain features. But let's head up. EBM says, it's always nice to see a league transport up into orbit. Yeah, because you know you're getting some goodies that you need there. And a bye, bye, bye. All right, continuing to explore Byzantium Secundus. Because as we uh, discover more, we can sell more to the Vow. And get some Momo -mo money. Get them Firebirds. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and do this attack first. Go into the farm. I'm actually going to do an assault. My armor should just waltz on it. Yeah, look at that. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I'll go ahead and make a militia down here. Oh, no. If I do a militia, I can't do another engineer. All right, I'm going to leave this undefended for a turn. So I know I do want to build some more engineers. Maybe I can buy some more metal. You're right, EBM. I'll go take a look and see if there's more metal there. All right, I want to see that right now. Agora, did you get restocked? No! Zero metal! Wah, wah, wah. All right. All of you, go back to the mine. We're going to get back on the bulk hauler and head out somewhere else. I don't know where just yet. We'll figure it out. Everybody on the bulk hauler, and we'll shoot you into space. Hey! Look, my wolfen's yellow. That means this elite got enough experience in those in that combat to go to elite. Yay, assaulting a farm! All right. We'll shoot it into space and we'll figure out what to do with it. All right, well, I do know that these troops are going to go somewhere else. I was talking about up there. So let's do that. Everybody into your assault landers. Shoot up into space, bazang! Come back down, whatever this city is at the North Pole. And land in the woods, because the salt landers don't take damage when they land. Everybody out. Oh, it's a well. Oh, man, this well's going to produce. Look at all those energy resources around it. Oh, man. This is dangerous for the noble. Lots of infantry. We'll give it a try. My, anyone got an elite status here? No, not yet. All right. Tricky, tricky. You're going to do it normal. Not going to risk anything. You might say, why don't I faint? Do the faint maneuver. All right, good deal. No problem. Uh, that's because um, I want to just waltz in and take these. And the faint means I'm doing less damage to them. And gives them more turns to shoot back at me. And if you have an overwhelming force, you just want to protect the key units that you're noble, then you do the faint. Or if you just need to attack and you're kind of worried, you'll do it. This time, like if you're on your last noble, you might very well do that all right, so we went here. Oh, Exotica up here. So we know we want to have an engineer. This is probably where we want to do that engineer. So we'll decide. Maybe we'll do the engineer now. We'll finish our turn. We'll do our building later. All right. Everybody back into their assault landers. Oh, hey, we now have an elite anti-tank unit. Bueno, bueno. I want my noble to get elite. Gosh darn it. All right. We got one more movement for them, so... Everyone back into space! Doom! All right. We want all of these troops to help out on the attack on the ruins. Northerly ruins. Come to here. Unload into the palace. Now I can use my uh, transports to do some exploration. Send them out to reveal that fog of war. All right, 
I'm gonna send this noble on up ahead. Well, let's let's do this engineer first. Keep building that road. Build that road, make it easier to move. Thanks everyone for joining today in the chat. Good to have the conversation. Uh, please do like this video, it gets to show up in more people's feeds. If you're enjoying this and other videos about game development, go ahead and subscribe to the Georgia Game Devs channel. Keep building this road up to the ruins, up to my own ruination. All right, again, those units that move more rapidly, we're gonna move out. I, I'm gonna consider this to be Lazarus, so. Just for fun, I'm gonna think that this is me moving into combat, woohoo! I'm gonna leave that infantry here to start protecting those troops. I'm gonna bring the Power Legion down here to help out. Help buffer, and I've got a lot of militia moving along too. As you can see, militia for you and me. Big troop of militia to move with that noble. Yeah, I got a nice size stack moving already. Nice size stack moving. Hey, that armor can get right up to the ruins. We don't learn anything about the ruins yet. All right, we've got this big armor unit I'd like to do something with. I want to have them sit around for everybody else. All right, I'm going to show what happens when you land in the open with a bulk collar, just for fun. Guess I'll survive at least one landing, probably. So we got that city and that city still to take. Uh, so I got a lot of troops over on this continent already, so I'm going to land it over here. So let's grab the bulk collar. You're going to land it in this river. Doom. And we find a farm. Okay, didn't take much damage at all. Just a little bit. I'm still in the green. I expected to go to yellow. Is Rings of Power any good? We've come a long way since Mazes and Monsters. Very good point. I have not watched Ring of Power. I'll let other folks talk to that. I play games, man. Uh, EBM, what riches and buttons? Might be the ruins offer today. Yeah, I'm looking forward. The ruins are offering all kinds of good stuff. That's a good point, EBM. We'll have fun. All right, let's see what's in the farm. Holy cow. That is one defended farm. I think I know where my assault landers are coming down. <laughs> and I think I want to do some bombarding before I uh, go after that farm. That is a, that is a defended farm. Two artillery, anti-tank gun, flat gun, militia all dug in. The farm does offer some defensive bonus to units in it. So, uh, yeah. I don't think I'm attacking that this turn. Where is, oh, they're out of movement. Shoot. So I'm not going to attack this turn. That'll be next turn. But let's land my uh, freighter in my mine and get them coming over to guard the noble when we attack the ruins. Yes. So we start moving these troops quickly on over. Hello, Noble, we're coming. All right, we're going to uh, just leave everybody here. We're not taking that farm today. No, we don't wish to end our turn yet. All right, let's look at that old diplomacy. Now we're going to start thinking more seriously. So I generally recommend against allying with folks who are very close to you. So if you look to see who's really close to the Hazat. It is the Hawkwood who might come after me, attack me, and might be likely to break that alignment. Or the Lee Halan. Further away are House Dakados and House Amali. So those are two good ones to try and ally. That doesn't seem like anyone in chat has been watching Rings of Power. We've got a lot of gamers in chat. Uh, as opposed to folks watching videos. I know a lot of folks like watching and gaming at the same time. I do too, but I I will admit I'm one of those who likes to watch videos of the game I'm playing at the same time I'm playing the game just to complete my immersion. All right. So let's start with... Um... All right, I'm going to let you vote in chat. Should we ally? try to ally with the Dakados or with the um, with the Almalik? 
Morris Taylor asks, was this game designed for a specific resolution? You ready for it? Hold on, let me get the box, because uh, it's funny. Give me one second. Then we'll show you how long ago this game came out. Uh, uh. Thought we really promoted that as one of the benefits. Uh, not as much as we did in other games. Yeah, 640 by 480. Can you imagine? So here's one of our other games, Hammer of the Gods. Yeah, you can see me doing some live streams of this one. Bonus, bonus. 640 by 400 SVA. SVGA, can you imagine bonus? 600 by 400 SVGA. Sam and Abinett says he doesn't follow politics. You know exactly what's going on with the Caliphate. And those wonderfully peace-loving Dikados and those evil warlike Hawkwoods. Sorry, it's the, generally considered the exact opposite by everyone but the Dikados. All right. Uh, any votes? We'll go ahead and see if we can first ally with the Dakados. Let's do that. All right. So let's go on House Dakados. I will say, uh, give me. Let's do the votes way. Let's try that again. Give me, give me um, a ministry if you're elected. Still wanting that imperial fleet so we can rule the heavens. And I will sign an alliance with you. Give you technology. Oh, I don't have the technology they want. I thought I had technology they wanted. All right, that'll be harder. Give you planet map. I know a little bit more about Byzantium Secundus now. It's worth a little bit more. And give you votes at the next election. All right, so we're going to do that. But I'm also going to try and make an alliance with the Al Malik. So give me an alliance with you, and I'll. Yes, I can give them psychosocial engineering. Shoo. I'll throw in that planet map as well. Give you Byzantium Secundus. Yeah, planet maps aren't worth that much unless you're trading planet map for planet map, but uh, it's worth a little bit. Message All right, but we got set. other folks out here. I will trade with Alexius if they have technology. Do you have technology I want? Yes, they have physics. So if they give me physics, I will give them psychosocial engineering and that planet map. Message yeah. sent. All right. Chikao has got the most technology, amusingly enough. We do that with Lee Halan, who seem anti-technology, but amazingly have the most of it. So I'll go for microbiology, and I'll give them an alliance if they give me microbiology. Message sent. Okay. Exit that. Oh, I was going to build a engineer, wasn't I? But I have enough to build. I've got enough to build an engineer, and that's what I want. So let's build an engineer to get that exotica. Well, well, well. I will build an engineer in the well. Yeah, the exotic is good for all sorts of chemicals and enhanced warriors, etc., etc. All right, so let's end the turn. The Hazat. All right, let's see if any of my diplomacy came to anything. Salandra isn't agreeing to that deal yet. I need technology. Technology is really the way to their hearts. Hey! Made the trade with Alexius. I now have physics and they have psychosocial engineering and my planet map. So that planet map is a lot less valuable to Alexius now. No alliance with the Almalik. Oh, the symbiotes are on the move. Captured a city on absolution. Two cities on absolution. And Lee Halan rejected my alliance offer. Okay, expected that. Give me map info from Aragorn. And I'll give you map info from Benson. Don't give them your homeworld planet information. All right, Sutek. Let's look what is happening in Sutek. Ah, neat planet. Lovely, lovely. Then my frigate on up to explore. Holy Terror! We don't even know what Holy Terror looks like. Let's definitely find out what Holy Terror looks like. All right. What were we doing on Aragon? Oh, yeah. We knew we were heavily outgunned there. Let's start with the... Ooh, diamonds. We got gems over here. So we know we want to create a mine over here. You're... Cities have a two hex radius, so the gems are right outside of this farm's radius. So we need to build something like over here to get the gems. Maybe, nope, up there won't do it. Here won't do it. I guess I'd be competing over this one, so like over here. All right, anyway, let's do some spatial bombardment. 
See how much damage we can do to that heavily defended farm. That is one heavily defended farm. They must be growing some good stuff there. Hey! Good shot, finally, cruiser. Nothing on the second shot. And we did some damage. Still a lot of artillery. Yeah, we're going to bring this whole force, and I'm worried about bringing my noble into this fight. All right, let's see. Let's see. This is dangerous. We got a big force. They got a lot of good stuff. I'm going to think about this. I will think about this. I should have taken this bull collar up and gotten some reinforcements, some more infantry to guard the noble. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Exploration going on with the transports. Dee -dee -dee. Sailing, sailing over the single sea. I don't know. Maybe we could consider how many seas they have. Maybe this is one C, that's two, three, four, the five C's. That actually sounds like some motivational thing. The five C's, conscious, complexity, anyway. Oh yeah, and you can save these maps. See, we're saving as PCX files and open them up later. If you wanna save parts of your game, I think it's kinda cool to see the whole world. Anyway, moving along with uh, the, this uh, explorer. Beep, 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 beep. Exploring out the coastline. Seeing what's around. Let's get that engineer going again. Yeah, it's a lot more movement points to move through the hills and the mountains. Alright, now we got a direct road to the ruins. We'll get our troops lined up and next turn we will conquer the ruins. So they're on a mountain. They take some movement points to get to. All right, so here's a big force coming on in. Uh, I don't know. We gotta decide we want to move there. I'm gonna leave the militia out for now. Consider they're my weakest units. Move everybody in and then finish flushing it out with militia because you only really have up to 20 units in an attack, in a stack at all, actually. Let's move all these up. That's a good group. We know we want those power legion in there to soak up any damage the noble might take. That's good. What do we have here? We got some artillery. Move them on in. Got this artillery. These folks are not going to make it in time. They're not going to help that ruins fight. We got space for five more units for the attack next turn. So let's bring this militia. Oops. And let's bring four of this militia. So now we got 20 units, a lot of them are infantry, which is great. Oh, wait, we got the engineer. Next turn, we'll take the engineer out and bring in another militia to help reinforce. Not going to attack with the engineer. Thank you very much. Engineer will probably move right there and build a... <laughs> yeah, I probably want a mine right here. That's funny. Right next to the ruins. All right. So next turn, we got a nice attack force to go after that ruin. This is the biggest attack force you'll be able to get. Lots of good stuff in there. And a noble leading the charge. Prince Lazarus himself going to the ruins. That'll be nice. All right, so one of you is going to join there. All right, I, I got a bunch of extra troops here. I'm going to move a bunch of these militia back to the palace. He's going to, this militia unit is going to sit here to join in after the engineer leaves that stack. Yeah, uh, you troops can't really do anything. Should I move you back to defend the palace, or...? It's gonna take forever to go to there. We need to do that by spaceships. All right. Let's move these folks back to the shield, maybe. Or to the fort, who knows. Yeah, to the palace. Good defense. All right. Oh yeah, these troops aren't going to get there in time either. Hmm, but a band. It's always good to have a flak unit when you attack a ruins. We'll move this up just in case, because you never know when there might be an air unit in there. And uh, we don't have a lot of air defense in this stack. The infantry units have some air defense. They tend to carry handheld anti-air weapons. Oh, EBM notes... Uh, 
Engineers do have pretty good close combat capabilities. Yeah, but that's a lot of resource allocation lost when they die, because they ain't got no defense. Here, let's take a look at the unit stats. We haven't done that much, have we? All right, so the Militia Legion, you can see, not much strength, decent accuracy. The armor is next to non-existent, 11, side defense 18. That's why they die so quickly. Average agility, um, where's their accuracy? Oh yeah, this is the accuracy, average accuracy. Now let's look at the Power Legion. Much better armor, better damage and accuracy. Less agility, so they're hit more often. But they are a lot more survivable. It looks like that engineer. Whoa! 96 strength. Yeah, they are pretty powerful in close combat. If the combat gets that. I mean, a artillery might just take them out in the first turn. Decent armor, decent side defense, low agility, low accuracy, so lots of damage, but unlikely that they'll hit. Oh, these are Avestites! I've got Avestite engineers, Sam! What do you think? What do you think about my Avestite engineers in action? Maybe we'll turn everybody Avestite. We will do a uh, religious change. Right now, Orthodox. I'm gonna let everybody here vote on it. So anyway, that's a good look. So now you see the Wolfen, much better armor, good damage, good accuracy, good unit in general. And let's see what the Noble has. Some anti-air, good close. See, when you're in close damage, they are the ones who do the thing. But not much armor, they can die quickly. And everybody's just basically got their hit points. They only got 99% health. I must have taken damage earlier and didn't even notice it. Good thing we got them armored, or are protected with power armor. Legions. All right, uh, I was gonna look at something. What was I gonna look at? Oh yeah, so like eats, some units consume food, nobles don't. This is an interesting one, we had cost. This is Firebirds. That's for the modders. None of these units cost Firebirds. Oh wait, engineers cost Firebirds. All right, I forgot about that. There's a maintenance cost, etc. I forgot about some of that. Anyway, you've seen their stats. A lot more information now than we used to have. That's part of 1.5 is a lot more information. All right, what was I about to do? These troops are doing nothing. Oh yeah. What do we want to do with our freighters? Just gonna sit here and pick up troops? they come out of there. I might put them up in space because I do want to build a mine down here and then I can land in the mine and load up folks in the freighter like Prince Lazarus to lead the attacks. Yeah, I think I'll just put the freighter into space and leave it there. These troops are going nowhere. I think these troops are going to the palace. Not going to need them in this combat. I could have figured that out before, but eh, what the heck. Just in case something had happened along the way, we had them. All right, exploring Byzantium Secundus. Getting ready to see there are two cities here. When I discover them, I'll have some more value. Deet, deet. Hey, that's the Almalik and Hawkwood Forts. The troops kind of exactly like what I had. They look a little more empty. I think that's just because my power legions don't have good scouting abilities. We're in Midian. Let's go to Icon. Make an iconic visit. Okay, back to the farm. All right, this is dangerous. We're risking our noble. Let's see what happens. I'm really thinking that faint, but I don't want to give that artillery too many turns to shoot at me. Let's try it. Normal attack. Yay! I was a little sweating it, I will admit. All right, I don't have enough metal to build an engineer here. Oh, wait, wait. Go back to the Agora. See if any of these things come back. Yes! We have more metal! And we've got more money in the bank! Buying it! Woohoo! Purchase! Until the Hazat have managed to build their mines in those mountains. This is the uh, best way for them to get the resources they need. Alright, that was a great, great ending. Let's build an engineer here on the farm. load everybody up in here. Alright. He's loaded on up. I like putting the armor in the bulk car. The bulk car lands in cities. They want high move I want high movement units in there to then continue. Hey, hey my noble is finally elite! 
Yay! Maybe we'll change our minds and this will be Lazarus. We'll see how the attack on the ruins goes. What say ye? What say ye all? Elite nobles are wonderful! Yay! Alright, let's shoot them all up into space. Uh, we've got one more city on Aragon to take. That's this thing here. Since it's by the river, it's likely a farm. Meanwhile, the Caliph laughs so hard she blew hookah water all over the tapestries until the Patriarch makes a pronouncement about mixed marriage. The notion of an abethite engineer combination to make a great magic lantern rom-com. That's hilarious. Ah, uh, the magic lantern shows. Crazy guilders making their magic lantern shows. Alright, we want to go ahead and take this city. Probably just do it with the Assault Lander troops. But, hey. That bolt collar didn't take much damage before. I'm tempted to land it again and send my Assault Landers on to another planet. It is time to start uh, the Assault on Veracruz. You're not going to attack Lee Gun. Lee's got way too many troops there. So, uh, let's see here. They've got two movement in the bulk collar. That lets me land and take off again. Yep, let's do that. Bulk collar is mostly healed up. Let's see what happens when I land next to this city. Go ahead and land in the water. Whoosh, have a splash down. He's still in the green. Took more damage. I'm not saying it's better to land in the river. It's just theoretically I had a splash down and... My armor then drove out on the riverbanks. Whoa, that's pretty good forces. Now I'm tempted to bring down my uh, assault landers again. Yeah, they've got armor. They've got anti-tank guns and artillery. Bunch of infantry. Yeah, let's bring the assault landers down. I know, I'm playing conservatively. That's not a very Hawkwood way to land, play, but... Uh, We'll do it this time. An amphibious assault from orbit. Exactly, EBM. <laughs> Normandy from space! Yeah, I think this troop, this force could probably do it now, though I'm risking my elite noble. Should I wait and do a bombardment? Nah, we'll go ahead and do it now. Let's, let's take this farm, make it mine. All right, noble. We'll see what happens. This is the uh, art. This is an anti-air unit. It's got pretty good armor. Thirty-seven armor. It's better like the infantry. So, um, I am taking a risk. Oh, wait a minute. They are all veterans in here. That makes them even riskier. Maybe I will wait a turn and bombard from orbit. Try and at least take out the tornado before I attack. Yeah, I'm playing really conservative today, aren't I? I'm not being very hazat like I just don't want to lose that. I'm pretty noble in this deck. I mean, I finally got to be elite. Come on. Got two elite units. I want to protect them. Uh. Okay. Really don't want to lose my elite. Noble. Oh, I hate it when you do this in a game. One of the great things, I love that choices you have to make. So your troops get better and better, so that you want to use them more, but you're afraid to use them more and risk losing them. So, I think we're going to save all these folks for uh, next turn. Do that attack next turn. Everybody just sit here. No, we're not done. We're going to do some more di diplomacy. Diplomacy. Do I have anything Hakim wants now? I'll give you technology. Yes, he wants social engineering, psychosocial. But he wouldn't give me the alliance next last turn. Maybe my Byzantium Secundus map is now more valuable. Let's try that, because I've discovered those two new planets. So I think one was his, so he probably already knew it. Hmm. We'll find out. Message sent. All right. So we tried making an alliance. Wait, we want to make an alliance. Uh, sorry, we're going to ask Hakim for votes. So change all this around. 
Give me a ministry. I want to rule the, the scars. And I'll give you psychosocial engineering. Give you the maps from Byzantine Secundus. And give you votes at the next election. Let's take out the map and sign an alliance with you. Let's see if we can have an alliance with uh, House Almalik. Because we got rejected by Solandra de Cados. Huh. Prince Hakim's prettier anyway. Message sent. All right. We can still try and trade. Does she have technology I want? Yes, she has technology I want. Well, I'm researching. Oh, they got microbiology. And I'll give you... Byzantium Secundus. And sign an alliance with you. Message sent. And uh, Alexius was good for technology before. Oh my, I want the energy physics. Can I give you any technology? Nope, not till I finish researching meditation. Eh. And I'll appreciate it. I'm not gonna do it, but it's a start. We do want that energy physics, though. Message sent. One of the great ways to get technology in this game is to trade with the other houses for it. All right. Go ahead and end the turn. Let's see if any of my diplomatic requests have gone for any good. Research and meditation has been completed. Now we got something to trade with the Hawkwood. Um, Prana Bindu. Trying to get those cool units going. That also will get me on the way to Dervishes. So research Prana Bindu. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's read what the archives, what the church says. Now, in opening oneself to the light, one must take care to avoid the enticing snares of a legion of dubious thrones. For in so doing, one can easily replicate the folly of the Pranabindu mystics of the Soma Path. These worthies, mistaking clever disfigurement for enlightenment, willingly perform fleshy manipulations such as the Pan Creator never intended, and contort themselves into shapes such as scions of Earth were never meant to assume. We can research this technology. Hehe. <laughs> yep, doing it. It's not prescribed yet. All right. Yeah, we didn't think Solange would agree to that. We knew Alexis would not agree to that. Hey, hey! So we now have an alliance with Prince Hakim. He will make me the fleet commander, assuming he becomes regent. I gave him social psychosocial engineering, and I'm giving all my votes at the next election. We've made an alliance. So that changes here. You look at the houses. Now I've got an alliance here. So important. Oh my goodness. All Malik have not been doing well. Their power has been going down a bit. It says we start higher. We really don't. That's mainly because of all that cool armor we've got. Other folks have their power as well. All right, we got some decent money. We might start uh, raising our unit pay in order to make our troops even more loyal. All right, so we made it all the way to Holy Terror. Let's look at Holy Terror. By gosh, this planet look map looks familiar. This is the Cradle of Humanity, Holy Terra. And uh, we can see the cities, so we don't know which they are. Uh, this is uh, often considered one of the main power centers of the Orthodox Church. Right there. All right. Hey, let's do give my uh, units a little bit more money, shall we? They'll be happy about that. All right, so anyway. We're going to go visit, uh, what planet? Artemis. Go visit Artemis. Artemis is not a mess. And from Icon, we'll go visit the Lihalan planet of Kish. Let's see what's going on there. All right, we're going to bring them down in a minute. We won't worry about them right now. The uh, cruiser can't really bombard Ruin until those units are revealed. Right now, all the units are hidden there, so it doesn't do any good. But we can bombard... That farm to try and take out the tornado. Yeah, that was good. Let's hit it again. All right, so that tornado's gone. I feel much more comfortable about attacking that farm now. In fact, so comfortable, we are sending our cruiser to Veracruz. It's cruising. Haha, <laughs> EBM notes. One step closer to delightful trackers. That's on the research. That's right. Pranabindu can get you trackers. Maybe I'll research trackers next. All right, so down here... We got some exploring to do. Exploring to do just for you. Get that coastline hammered out. Find out what's along it. 
Alright, we know we're leaving you guys in here for now. Getting a lot of troops back into the palace. Now that palace is nicely defended. Moving these folks along the ruins just in case a plane comes out and we don't take it out quickly enough. Alright, so we're going to move this engineer out. We'll figure out if we're doing the mine after we do our attack. Alright, we do not know what's in the ruins. So let's find out. So, we've got this giant stack. Lots of infantry to buffer that noble, I hope. So right now we're considering this to be Prince Lazarus as they walk into the ruins. No idea what's here. Normal attack. Oh, a blade master. That's dangerous for my noble. But oh, some really good units. That um, tank is a very powerful tank there. Good thing we brought so many units. Infantry soaked. Oh my goodness. Prince Lazarus took some heavy damage. My entire retinue was pretty much wiped out. Wow, that blade master. That blade master did me some damage. That was tricky. Yeah, those blade masters are awesome. But uh, that was close. Look at my uh, elite noble now. He's elite here too, but he took some damage. 10% health down to Lazarus himself. Lazarus must have called out the blade master. In noble uh, one hand one on one combat and battled to the end. Whoa! Hey, I got some elite militias out of that. Look at all my units got elite status out of it. Lazarus, the artillery, those militias, nice. I mean, elite militia is really not all that great, but hey, it's better than just a militia unit. But wow, Lazarus came so close to dying. That was dangerous. All right, now we've got the ruins cleared. I'm going to move one of my wolfen units in to see what tasty goodies are in there. The ancient knowledge of composite armor. We've got knowledge out of it. Glad to get some knowledge. All right. So, I had hoped to move Lazarus into the mine to go ahead and uh, take him off to another planet. Um... I definitely want to build this mine now here. Let's see. Orders. Build city. If I build the mine there, 25 metal and 4 trace. So let's do that. Build a mine. We need that metal. Okay. Wow. That was scary for Lazarus. Lazarus needs to work on his swordsmanship. Well, he's elite, but he is not a blade master. That is for sure. Only his pure will allowed him to overcome the blade master. That and having 19 other units along with him. All right. So I'm going to be moving troops out of this mine for the most part. So a lot of troops are going to move into the mine. Lazarus. He is moving his hiney back to the palace, and it's just going to sit there for a while. <laughs> dee, 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 Um, I think I'm going to put most of the rest of the troops in the mine. I should do some exploring. Maybe I'll use my elite militia to do some exploring. Everyone else is going to sit in the mine and wait to get transported to Veracruz. So let's do that. If I knew where other ruins were, I'd send them off that way. All right, we got this fight to do. All right, we risked one noble. Let's see what happens now. EBM apparently knows uh, a little bit about Aragon. That mountain range has some great mineral deposits. Good to know. So we'll uh, need to exploit them. Hope I didn't put my one mine in a bad place, make it hard to exploit the others. All right, let's attack the farm. Again, a normal attack. Fingers crossed for this elite noble. Oh, yeah. Oh, we might capture an artillery. See the flag on it? That means it retreated. Yeah, that was a pretty easy fight once we took out the buffer of that, um, uh, of the, um, of the, uh, self-propelled anti-air gun. Steve Jackson released all his old micro games on Amazon. I used to play a lot of those. I still have a few of them here, in fact. Kung Fu 
2100 or something along those lines. Of course, Car Wars and the earliest versions. Yeah, a friend of mine was very happy to uh, play Car Wars against Steve Jackson at Dragon Con earlier this month. Uh, yeah, we got to work with Steve Jackson back in the day at, when I was at White Wolf. We uh, licensed GURPS Vampire and Werewolf to him. So interesting experiences. All right. So we got the farm. I want to build another engineer here to go exploring and building stuff in the mountains. I think I do. I'm going to build another engineer here. Engineers are very valuable things. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Almost forgot. I need to go after... I need to send my wolf in to go find that artillery. Unit there it is. Captured! Oh, no, he doesn't have movement, enough movement to go back here. Uh-huh. Shoot. All right, let's load up my, uh... Uh... Salt landers. So that I can start heading off to Veracruz. All right, shoot these guys into space. Head to Veracruz with my cruiser. I don't know enough movement to get back on the river. I probably shouldn't have done the river. Oh, well. well let's go ahead and put these three units into the bolt caller. Hey, I got a veteran smiter. I love my smiters. Oh, do I want to wait on that other armored unit? It'd be nice, but I just want to get everybody over to Veracruz. Start making that conquest happen. So let's go to Veracruz. We'll come back and get that other wolf in. Did I put an elite unit in there? I did. I'm lacking an elite unit. Oh, well. They live in. Might as well do a little exploring with them before I... I'm done with my turn. Oh, still exploring up here. Now it's just for my need for completeness that they're moving around. Now that I've found all the cities. Really, it's got all its value for the... Uh, We're selling it to the Vow to trade with others. All right, landing here in the mine. We'll load up other folks into it and bring that freighter along. Yeah, so let's get this. Oh, I should really do the power legions to protect. Yeah, I got to protect my noble. Let's move the power legions on in. Put them in the freighter. Everybody else will come out in the future. Got to protect my noble. The fat armor would be better for conquering Veracruz quickly, but like I said, I'm being a little bit conservative this game for no good reason. All right, and everybody else going to the mine. Explore a little bit with this tank as well. It's going to be a little bit before I get those ships back to move it. So yeah, let's move it a little bit. New. Let's go back to Aragon quickly. You at the their exploring did. And everybody knows that I'm going to go to the Agora and see if there's more metal. Oh, they restocked it again! Wow! Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Tasty, tasty metal. Buy it when you can get it. You gotta be careful now because I increased my unit pay. So, I gotta get more. I gotta get those engineers building cities. That's how you get money from the taxation. I got that. Where do I want to build more engineers? I'm building an... Oh! I could build in this mine, too, couldn't I? Yeah, let's do that. Build an engineer there. And, um... Got enough for another engineer. I should start... Now that I'm mining Exotica, I got lots of trace, and I got energy coming. I should start building chemicals. So I am going to do it near my lab. Build an engineer. I always do find it funny building engineers in the cathedral. Okay. All right, so we made our alliance. We're going to keep trying to trade for technology. So give me energy physics. I'll give you... Oh, I got composite armor. Everyone's going to want composite armor. Let's start with meditation because we know other folks have meditation. I don't think anyone else has composite armor. So let's find out. Chico! Give me 
technology, mega chassis, and I'll give you technology, composite armor. Message you always have to be careful giving out these technologies a little early because uh, then they're going to trade composite armor with each other. And I won't be the only one to have it anymore. But hey, it's the race. Microbiology. And I will give you composite armor. So, we doing a lot of composite armor trading now. Message sent. And my buddy, Hakeem. Give me, he's got no technology I want. So, I know I'm a lot allied with you, but uh, I'll wait you have technologies I want. Oh my goodness. 315 already. Time's some flying. I don't really plan to live stream for an hour. All right, let's see how this turn wraps up. Wait, wait, can I sell my planet map to the Vow again? More money, 261, I'll take it, I need the money. Or I go broke. All right, let's see how this turn goes. Oh wow, I need more food before I start cranking on the engineers. I need some more farms. How am I doing? You can right click on these and see what you're doing. I'm eating 220 galaxy wide, and I'm harvesting 438 galaxy wide. So I'm getting in a decent amount right now. All right, end the turn. Okay. Time flies when you're securing your home world, that's right. More Sailor says the Munchkins games seem to be the biggest uh, games to date, but I never played them. Yeah, Munch, and I I credit the art on that. I mean, that is a great, um, Kovacek is just wonderful. He's a wonderful human being. Love hanging out with him. Great artist, great comic genius. So, uh, yeah, James is a big part of that. I think I'm getting the name right. It's been a long time since we've hung out at a Gen Con. But really, a wonderful guy. If you're not reading Dork Tower on a regular basis, subscribe to it through your RSS feeds, wherever you can. Great comics. It's really, I think, his humor that made Munchkins the success that it is. Uh, and I will uh, definitely credit Steve Jackson for the earliest micro games, Melee Wizards, I believe. So these two early micro games in the very, like when there was only D&D &D and Traveler out there, these micro games were some of the earliest games to let you really choose how you would advance as a character. Now RuneQuest did great stuff uh, with skills and the like, so you didn't have a level system. But the micro games from Steve Jackson, um, they turned into the fantasy trip, were pretty innovative for the time. And we're talking mid-70s. Okay, let's see where we are. Research of Prana Bindu has been completed, and uh, EBM called it out for me. Let's research that Tracker Legion. They're handy. Good explorers. Not great combatants, but really good to explore early in the game. And I got my first engineer! Yay! I will build a militia out here now. Another engineer! Yay! And I've got... That's right, that's where I put that infantry to sit, so we're not going to build anything out here. None. Build none. You want, sure you want to build nothing? Yes! An engineer out here! Yeah, we'll build nothing here, too. We don't have enough for another engineer. You see it's red out here on the... metals. Whoops. Nope. Oh, yeah, we'll build them here. Oh, that's right! You can buy from the engineer... from the league here. I always forget that. Engineer down there. So yeah, if I clicked on Engineer to build, it would say Lee doesn't have resources. Had resources I could try and buy them. Excuse me. All right, so we'll build none. Oh, traded microbiology for composite armor. Did not trade energy physics for meditation. Did trade mega chassis for composite armor. Good deal. You'll give me microbiology for energy physics, and I just get microbiology. Let's reject, and if we didn't get microbiology, we'll come back. Give me microbiology and I'll give you 875 bricks. I'll take it. I need the money. And you're my ally, so sure, I'll take your money. All right. All right. Um, let's see. Maybe do one more turn and then call it? Yeah, let's do one more turn and then we'll call it. It's a game I could keep playing. The time has been flying. Let's go take a look at what's happening in Malignatius. Zip. All right. This one, on the other hand, I'm going to start heading back to... Aragon with, because currently Aragon has no combat ships in orbit over it. So if somebody comes in, I got no defenses. But we got the assault on Veracruz happening. All right, so there's a city down here. The south, oh, these are connected by roads. 
This is probably where shield generator and anti space guns are. Maybe I'll start up here. It looks like a good place to start. That's probably mine with all those mountains around. Oh, I love, love the East Veracruz. Something over here to get. Nothing up in the north north, so it's probably some ruins up there. All right. All right, so I'm going to land my assault landers here. Let's see if I get attacked by planted space guns when I land on Veracruz. You should be a loyal Hazat planet. So come on down. I'm going to attack them down. That's a farm? All right, let's see what's in the farm. Not much, but again, I'll take that artillery out before I attack. Yay! Took the artillery out. All right, let's... Uh, these landers have two more moves, so I can come after this place next. So, let's do our attack up here. I'm going to do an assault just for the fun of it. Yay, assault! Boom! Took out that militia before it could do anything. Uh, you don't have enough metal for an engineer, so let's go ahead and build a militia up here. Just give me some eyes and protection. Alright, now... One, two, three, four. Yeah, I don't have movement to come down, but I can land here. I can take them back up and land them again. Alright, one, two, three, four. I don't think this has planted space weapons. I think they're planted space defenses are down here. So I'll be out of range. I've got a five range. So let's take everybody back up into orbit. Everybody in orbit. Move, move, move. Shoot them up. Bring them down. Lying in the woods. Hey, there's the mine. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I hate that. This is one of those mines you want to tear down and build back up because otherwise I can't get that exotica. I want to put a farm here and build the mine here or here or something. We're gonna, not going to worry about it right now. All right, what's in the mine? Uh, that's a little more defended. All right, let's do some more planet to space bombardment. Come on, cruiser. You have two more attacks ahead of you. Sorry about that. Should have muted my phone before streaming. One of the golden rules. Spam risk. All right. Attack. Attack my mine. Oh, you didn't do nothing. That's not good. Oh, wow. Yeah, next to nothing. All right. I didn't want to do this, but I'm doing it. Everybody else, land in the woods. Again, playing a little control. Whoa, now they took some damage on that landing. All right, I'm going to take these ships on out of here. I'm going to take them back to Aragon. Back to Aragon. Jumpa, jumpa. That is a good force now. That mine is still heavy defended. Again, I'm paranoid about my noble. Let's see what happens. I got the power legions defending it. This doesn't really do anything. I just like to pretend that it does. All right. Here we go. Let's hope the noble survives. Tempted to faint. Eat faint. I am. I will. I got enough power that I should be able to take it out easily. Yay! Took some damage to my elite Wolverines. Okay, so now everyone goes into the mine. We're going to build a militia here. Oh, elite power legion now. Yay. Oh, I thought my Wolverine was elite. It was my spider that was elite. Oh, it's a wolfin back on my homeworld that's elite. That's right. All right. So, we are going to build a militia here. The good Maybe I want to build an artillery or an anti-tank gun. We've got one anti-tank gun. Maybe another anti-tank gun. Yeah, let's build another anti-tank gun. You see what you can build here. Different structures can build different things. Um, I'm gonna we're gonna march down the road towards whatever this city is. So I'm gonna put my armor in front. I don't like leading with my smiters. That's dangerous. I'm. Let's move them all four. Let's see what happens. Let's see if there's anybody else around yet. 
tempted to move all the way down so I can explore the city, but that leaves them vulnerable to a counterattack from the rebels. Hmm. All right. I can move them one more and then move back, because that way they can have my noble and my uh, power legions hanging out with them. My power legions got some good scouting, apparently. Or maybe that's my noble who's got the better scouting. I got some fertile grounds here for a city. Oh, wow. I didn't see this island. Goodness gracious. That's going to be a shield. That's a powerful little complex. That's going to be tough to attack. I'm going to have to build some ships to do a naval attack. I'm going to have to do Normandy here because if I land spaceships here, they're planting space weapons. They're going to pound on me. All right, but that's neither here nor there. Let's get these troops moving as well. I'm going to leave the Wolverine in the city. Uh, because it heals more rapidly in a city. All right, keep my exploring going. All right, got my engineer here. What do I want to go? That's probably going to be some tasty stuff down here. Build a well up there. We got um, wells do well. Get it? Wells do well with the desert. Well, I've got plenty of energy right now, and my food is in the red, so I'll probably want to go down here and build some more food. Let's do that. All right, more exploring. I should probably put an engineer on one of these transports and head out to one of the islands where I don't have any units yet. See what goodies I can get there. Pretty good idea, actually. All right, and I know this is going to be a good area for a farm. So probably right to there. Yep. But I want it. Oh, I need the metal. That's what I was going to do. I'm going to come down here and get some of that metal. Maybe right to there. All right. We need the metal. We need the food, too. We'll see what happens. Let's go after the metal. All right, that was my plan. I'm going to go for it. Let's see what happens. I'm really tempted to go up there. Mm, decisions! All those juicy decisions. That's what good games are all about. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and move up and do my farm up there. Alright. More militia guarding the palace. Got this mine out here. Build a road and move you out to do some stuff. Yeah, let's connect my roads. Get Lazarus back into the palace. I'm tempted to build a hospital just for Lazarus. What's he at now? Let's see. 12%. Eh. Get some healing in the palace. I'm going to century him for quite a while until he's all the way healed up. All right, get you up into here for some mining goodness. Let's see. I want to do some exploring, explorating. Send my militia out in different directions. Oh, they got decent spotting range. There are Vestites. They're looking for sin far ahead of them. Move them out all over the place. Yep. Oh, hey, tasty metal down here. Go get some of that metal. That means we want to probably put a mine here. So we got to be careful that whatever mine this unit build doesn't keep us from exploiting that mine appropriately. Um. This one's going to come in and heal back up. Oh, went the wrong way. Shoot. Give me another one of these militias moving south. Right that way. I'm going to skip with all these. These were just waiting for the haulers to come. The spaceships to come take them off planet. We'll take Veracruz. Uh, and of course he's going to go back into the mine and wait to get picked up later.
You're going to go into the farm and heal. Maybe I'll get, get getting picked up. Who knows? And this wolf fin will do a little bit of exploring while it waits to get picked up. Nope, let's trade for some more technology. Come on, Alexius, give me something good. What do you have? You have energy? I haven't gotten energy physics yet. I might offer that trade to two people just so I make sure I get it. You didn't want meditation. Everyone wants composite armor. I've traded it out, so let's offer it to Alexius. Message sent. Uh, Chica, what you got? Ooh, hospitals. I definitely want hospitals for Lazarus. And you want my Pranabrindu. So I better start trading everyone Pranabrindu, else it'll start making the Message rounds. Sent. Already did Alexius, what I think. Again, let's sent. go back to Solange. Does she have any technology I want? Pharmaceuticals! Of course she has pharmaceuticals. I'll give you Pranabindu. Oh, well, you want Mega Chassis. Yeah, Pranabindu. So we're trading it around to everybody. Message sent. Hakeem! My ally! Uh, I'm gonna make this offer. I know I've offered energy physics somewhere else, but heck. I just want to make sure I get it. I'll offer him the planet map of uh, Byzantium Secundus now that it's got more stuff on it. Message sent. You are my ally. You should make that. You should accept that trade. All right. We'll end the turn, and then we'll uh, see how stuff stacks up, and then we'll go ahead and um, call it for the day. Lazarus has plenty of uh, new scars to show off, and he will. That's a true Hazat Noble. As a true Hazat Noble will do. Hey, wait a minute. Do I have any... Uh... I didn't have enough to build anything, did I? No. All right. I want to increase my unit pace some more. Maybe I'll decrease my tax a little bit. Get some more loyalty going, more production going. All right, let's do that. You got some good money coming in. All right. End the turn. The Hazat. Lazarus of House Hazat's turn. I got a militia unit. Good. I will build nothing more there for now. Though I should do some exploring. I got a lot of metal here now. Yeah, I'll build another militia just so I can do some exploring. Got an engineer in Aragorn. I do need a militia up there, so let's build that. Militia unit on Veracruz. Nothing more up there. That's too far in the hinterlands for me to worry about. Ah, oh, should I build here? I really want that engineer so I can tear down the mine and rebuild stuff over there, but I probably need reinforcements. Let's build an artillery. Ooh, I'm starting to run out of uh, metal if I'm going to still build an engineer. Oh, no pharmaceuticals from the Dakados. No energy physics from Alexius. No energy physics from Hakeem. No hospitals from Chikau. Whoa. It was kind of what I offered before. All right, so I'm getting hospitals from Leolan. Sorry, Solange, I just did the, the trade, but now I know you want Mega Chassis. I'll give you microbiology. I'll take the money. Now I can keep lowering my taxes. All right, I want to get this frigate back, but I can do a little more exploring first. I'll go to Pentateuch. And uh, wait a minute, I was going to end the. I was going to stop doing stuff, wasn't I? Ooh, lots of stuff happening around Malignatius. Look at that. The Almalik are here. Almalik and oh wow, Almalik and. Uh, Lee Halan are going to go to war soon, and we're allied with the Al Malik. Interesting, interesting. Hmm. Fascinating. All right. Well, I was going to call it. Was this played off CD ROM? It's installed a hard drive. Yeah. Installed a hard drive. If you get it off of GOG. Wow, I didn't share that. Hold on a sec. Let me share where you can get this game. On GOG. I really apologize for not being on the ball with that. Glad you've enjoyed it, Morris. This is a fun game. Uh, and you can buy it on GOG, and we will have the 1.5 patch out on GOG this fall. Thank you for asking. Yep. EFS at. Yeah, check it out. And I've got other videos up of playthroughs and the like, and I think. Boy, I really want to continue this game, but I might do the tutorial next uh, next live stream. But boy, this has been fun. Lazarus in that dangerous battle. 
an alliance with House Al-Malik. Getting fascinating already. All right, but I'm going to go ahead and save it. Save as Hazat. Hazat Stream. All right, thanks to everyone for joining today. That was a lot of fun. Um, I will leave the stream running for a few minutes. If you have any more questions, like, post in chat. But, uh, yeah, thank you all very much for joining today. That was a blast. I played a bit longer than I planned to. I really want to keep going. Oh, well, sign of a fun game. Cheers, everyone. Thanks for joining.